guys, so today's video is going to be a really fun Beyonce inspired makeup look and I'm doing this in collaboration with my girl Shannon from ShanXO. If you don't know her, I'll link her down below so don't forget to go subscribe to her channel. She does amazing makeup tutorials. One thing I really admire about her is her consistency. She's always uploading great content and I know you guys will like her channel just as much as I do. So we both chose two different looks we found from Beyonce online. Hers is a very soft, natural, glamorous one. Something definitely up my alley and that I love. So I decided to kind of step out of my comfort zone a little bit and do something a little bit different, more vampy, more fall because this isn't something I would typically wear. So I was like, okay, let's do this. And I loved the picture I found of this look online. And we both use the Lorac Pro Palette too. So I hope you guys enjoy our tutorials. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you did. I love you and let's go ahead and get started with the look. So first I'm going to take a mixture of light brown and cool gray on a fluffy blending brush just back and forth in the crease. Since this is a really dark look, you want to make sure you have that color to help blend everything upwards. Since I don't have the exact shade Beyonce is wearing in the picture, I'm going to be mixing two colors. First I'm taking the dark blue navy and I'm going to apply this all over the lid up into the crease. And I'm going to take a pencil brush and draw a cat eye, kind of like if you were winging out your eyeliner. This doesn't have to be extremely neat, we're going to clean it up as we go. This is one of those looks that it looks weird until you finish it. Now I'm going to add the plum shade right on top and this is going to make it more of like a berry color. And I'm going right over the navy and then I'm also going to go back to that pencil brush and apply the purple in the wing as well. Now I'm going to mix the plum and black on a crease brush and just go back and forth buffing that product upwards and really smoking everything out. Take your time and just blend, blend, blend until you feel like you have a good gradient from dark all the way up to light. And I always go back with a fluffy brush just to blend out any harsh lines. Now I'm just going to clean up the edges with some makeup remover. Dark colors can be really messy. And your eyes should look something like this. Before moving on to the face, I'm going to use this City Lips Plumping Treatment to make my lips look like Beyonce's. So I leave it on while I'm doing my makeup and it makes them look so plump and smooth. It's actually a treatment so I've been applying it at night as well for more hydrated and full lips. So we're going to let this sit while we finish the face. For a base, I'm using the new YSL Fusion Ink Foundation and this is a really light coverage foundation that looks like your skin but it's still going to cover up any redness or discoloration and I'm using my beauty blender to apply. Then I'm going to add concealer for any dark circles and to kind of highlight the face. This is NARS Radiant Creamy in the shade Custard and I'm just going to blend it out with my beauty blender as well. Then to set the concealer, I'm using Banana from Anastasia, my favorite setting powder. Beyonce has a pretty natural face in the picture, so I'm just going to do a little bit of contouring with the shade Java from Anastasia Beverly Hills, just to kind of add some dimension back into my face. Then for blush, I'm using Infatuation from Makeup Geek and keeping it pretty low on the cheekbones because hers was pretty sharp and this is the perfect natural blush color. I love it. Then to make those cheekbones pop, I'm going to apply a little bit of this face glow in the shade Natural from Galactic. It is the most beautiful natural looking highlight I have ever used if you want a really subtle glow. 
Then to finish the eyes, I'm first gonna apply a little bit of mascara and go in with my favorite lashes of the moment, which are Girl You Crazy from Velour, and I'm just applying them as close to the lash line as I can. Then for the lower lash line, I'm gonna apply some black eyeliner in the waterline and also bring it down a little bit. This is a little trick I do to help the shadows blend when I'm smoking out the lower lash line. I'm gonna go back to that plum color and just smoke out that lower lash line, bringing it down pretty far because hers was really smoked out. Again, this is my version. I've kind of tweaked it a little bit, but I'm gonna blend it down as far as I feel comfortable. I'm also gonna add the plum on the inner corner because her eye was smoked out all the way around and then finish the eyes with some mascara. So now you can see just how full my lips are. I love this stuff and you can even apply it under your lipstick if you want more of a hydrated glossy finish and City Lips was nice enough to give me a coupon code for you guys and they're also BOGO right now so you literally can't beat it. I will link them down below. Now I'm gonna take this anti-feather pencil from OCC. It's just gonna help my dark lipstick not run anywhere because even with lip liners, sometimes they can bleed. And I'm gonna use Night Moth Lip Liner from MAC. It's my favorite for dark lip colors. And I love this, but sometimes it still can bleed a little bit, so that's why I use the OCC first. And I'm gonna fill in my entire lips except for the center. And then I'm gonna apply Rebel Lipstick from MAC right on top, and then we will be finished with the look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I thought it was perfect for fall. Let me know in the comments what you wanna see next. I love you and I'll see you in my next video.